so this is uh, a, a short clip of me on top of the Grand Tetons. We were walking along there, we're hiking, a group of us, and, and I stopped and asked my wife if she would take a short video of me doing a box squat. She's very nice and allowed me to do that. Uh, it's quick and dirty because, well, I you know everybody's waiting for me to get this thing done. So um, here I am, my weight is between my feet. Okay, and what I'd like you to notice is a couple things. I'm going to keep my shoulders and my knees aligned with each other. Uh, my knees are going to come out a little bit. My shoulders are going to come out a little bit. My butt is going to come back a little bit. My head is going to go forward a little bit. And that all, that scissoring action, keeps my mass right between my feet as, as I go down. All right, so let's, let's look at this. By the way, I'm going to stop right here. Oops, I said I was going to stop right there. Come on, Ellie. Um, when I say misalign my bones, you notice that my legs aren't straight and my spine's not straight on top of my legs. That's what I'm talking about right there. Uh, so what is holding me in place is the tension of the tissues. And what this enables me to do is the force if, I, if force comes in, and force is always coming in, and force is always coming up, it wants to roll the joints instead of come straight down on the joints, which is uh, conflicting and, and compressing. Well, okay, here we go. So here I am coming down, coming down, coming down. Yeah. Now, again, the, uh, my arms don't have to come out front. Normally, I don't even put them out front. I like to put them to the side. So I won't worry about that. I would look at my shoulders and my knees and how they're balancing each other out as I come down. And then you'll notice that I have a neutral spine here. If I was carrying weight on my back, like I was doing a squat, I would just maintain that. But I'm going to go a little bit deeper than that. Right there. And you'll notice that my... Uh, you'll notice over the next few times I do this, my um, thigh goes even below horizontal, and I go ahead and allow my lower back to round. Now, this would be a really dumb thing to do if you had weight on your back, but I am actually letting some of my weight spill into my lower back and open up the tissues of my lower back and, and stretch that area out. So, my, my guts are sho shoving my uh, femurs apart, trying to make room in there. And they're going back and opening up my lower back over here. And I like this to uh, warm that up. Okay, and I, I like to work my way down in here. You can kind of see me working in. And then notice this. See how my head starts to come up and my legs start to move? everything is opening at the same time so it's not just my legs it's my whole body opening and as it come down it's my whole body closing and as I open up the weight stays right between my feet and I come down and the weight stays right in between my feet. I tried to get a little lower and a little more sunk in there and then come back come back up again. There's no thrust. I'm not thrusting out my knee to uh, come up. Okay. A lot of people when they would squat they would push down here to make themselves come up this way. I'm actually pulling if anything, I'm pulling my my knees back and letting my uh, my waist come forward in order to counterbalance that as I come up. It's just the opposite of what, how people normally think of squatting. And so there it is. That's a box squat on top of the Grand Tetons. Thank you to my wife for recording that.